Yo guys, so I was never planning on making a video like this, but recently I found out something serious going on in my life, something serious going on with my health, and I just figured I wanted to make this video and explain to you guys what's been happening because you guys, the people that watch my videos, my supporters, I don't see you guys as just fans. I don't see you guys as just some random people who watch my YouTube videos, nah. You guys who support me, I see you guys as my family, my second family. I love you guys, you guys mean a lot to me. So if there's something serious going on in my life, the least I could do is sit down here, make a video and explain it to you guys. So, um, oh guys, before I dive into the story and tell you guys this whole scary situation that's been happening with my life, let me just uh, give you guys a quick backstory. I weigh 145 pounds, 145. I've weighed 145 pounds for the past 10 years. I'm 28 years old now, I'd say ever since I was in high school when I was 16, 17 years old, all the way through college, all the way for the last 10 years, I've weighed 145 pounds. I've always been around 145. I haven't really lost weight. I haven't really gained weight. And if you guys keep up with my channel, if you guys know me, I go to the gym a lot. I exercise a lot. I care about the way I look. I care about my weight. So I'm constantly weighing myself. I weigh myself all the time. And every time I weigh myself for the last 10 years, it's always around 145 pounds. Just keep that in mind before I get into the story. Okay, now time to begin what's been going on in my life. The scary situation that's been happening to me, the, the whole reason I wanted to sit here and make this video. All right, you guys ready? So listen to this. Long story short, yesterday I posted a little video to my Instagram, like an Instagram reel. And in that video, um, there was a clip of me running. I was exercising, I was running around my community. I didn't think anything of it, you know? I did a little day in my life video for Instagram, and like I said, one of those clips was me going for a run, exercising around my community. Oh, and keep in mind, in the video when I was running, I was shirtless, I didn't have a shirt on. And you know, I post the video to Instagram, I don't think anything of it. There's not one thought in my mind that there was anything wrong with the video, there was not one thought in my brain that there was something suspicious about this video. I just posted what I thought was a normal, regular video with a clip of me running. So I post it, right? It's up on my Instagram for a little bit, and me as an influencer, you know, I read my comments. So I opened up my Instagram, had just posted this mini video and I'm scrolling through the comments and then I read some and I get scared. I get worried. I'm like, wait, what? Let me read you what some of those comments said. Like I said, guys, I wasn't wearing a shirt. So I'm going through my messages and someone replies to me running and they go, that looks very unhealthy, bro. Next person also replies to my body without a shirt on and they go, definitely does not look healthy. And I'm over here sitting like, damn, bro. Like I know I'm skinny. I know I weigh 140 five pounds but why are we body shaming me you know i was upset i was like damn bro people are still body shaming in 2023 i get it i'm skinny i'm not the biggest person in the world but why are people telling me i look unhealthy why are people making fun of the way i look without a shirt on you know i was hurt bro i'm not gonna lie i was in my feelings i was like damn bro like i get it i don't have the nicest strongest most muscular body but why are people coming at me with, oh, you look unhealthy, you know, you're, you're so skinny. I was like, damn, what the hell? So I didn't think anything of it. I did not think anything of it. I just thought it was a couple of haters that were just making fun of my body weight. They were body shaming me and they were like, yo, you don't look healthy. Bro, big deal. I was like, Fuck you haters, you know, like I didn't care too much. Then this is what really scared me. This is what made me, you know, kind of be like, wait, what the hell is something actually wrong with me? So on top of those two messages from the people telling me I look unhealthy, I get a text from my brother, FaZe Rug. And my brother's a very busy person. And yesterday was his film day. He was filming. So when I got a text to my phone saying from FaZe Rug, from Brian, I was like, yo, my brother's usually really busy on this day. And I know he's filming. So I'm like, my brother doesn't usually have the time to take his phone out and text. This must be serious. So I go to read the text that my brother sent me. So I had sent Brian that little Instagram video before I posted it just so he could review it and you know see if it was a good Instagram post. And he completely disregards the whole video and he goes, Brandon, oh my God, maybe you should go to the hospital. That's serious. And I'm like, bro, hold up. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I, I got kind of scared. Like I was worried because my brother, he's he's not the type that jokes around about these kinds of things. Maybe you should go to the hospital. You know, that's serious. My brother doesn't joke around about those types of things, you know? Yeah, and then he goes, dude, Brandon, be serious. That's not normal. So then, you know, after my own brother texted me, telling me to go to the hospital and to go get checked out and, you know, telling me that I don't look normal, then I was kind of like, hold on, maybe those other two supporters that messaged me on Instagram saying I don't look healthy, maybe they weren't haters. Maybe they weren't just body shaming me. Maybe they were actually looking out for me and something did look off. You know, maybe something was wrong with me in that video and I just didn't notice because 
I don't know. I see myself every single day. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't realize a change in my body because like I said, I see myself every single day. So it's different when other people see me, they notice a change. So I'm over here like, yo, why, why are my supporters tripping, telling me I don't look healthy? Why is my brother texting me saying that I need to go to the hospital? Like what's going on, bro? So I go back to the video that I posted on Instagram and I'm like, I'm wondering why am I getting these comments? Why are people saying I look unhealthy? Let me watch it again. So I go to the video and I watch the clip of me running and I notice I noticed once I'm running, look, you could see like my ribs, my chest looks really small. Look at that, look, look, look. Look at the, ri the ribs, the rib cage, whatever. You could see my bones, bro. Bro, look at this, man. You could see my bones, you could see my ribs. This is not healthy, it doesn't look right. You could legitimately see my bones. I just look really skinny. I look really slim, I look really, really, really skinny and I don't look healthy. Those people who I thought was just hating, and I thought they were just body shaming me, making fun of me, nah, they were right. I watched the video again and I, I realized I don't look healthy, you could see my bones. I literally look like a skeleton, bro. And then I remembered my brother's text where he was like, dude, this is serious, you need to go to the hospital. And I'm, I'm looking at my body and I'm like, bro, maybe my brother's right you know i don't look healthy this looks really bad keep in mind guys like i said for the last 10 years i've always remained the same way no matter how much i exercise no matter what i eat no matter how much cardio i do no matter how much basketball i play i've always remained 145 pounds for the last 10 years i never looked like this never once did i look at my body and you could see my bones i wasn't like that i was never like that never matter of fact go to my instagram okay i'm gonna show you guys a picture that was taken just one year ago this picture was taken one year ago look look at this look at my body look at my body in this picture no i wasn't the fattest guy i didn't have the most weight on me but you definitely could see that i had a little bit more meat on my body and you definitely could not see my bones in this picture that was just one year ago compare what i looked like one year ago to what i look like today in that instagram video i posted bro it is a night and day difference look at that it doesn't even look like the same person bro so guys at this point i'm kind of worried you know i'm sitting here i'm reading my brother's messages that got me worried a little bit reading messages from my supporters telling me i look unhealthy that got me worried a little bit but then when i went back and looked at myself shirtless just a year ago and compared it to what i looked like that day then i got really worried i was like bro where did all the weight go i haven't been on a diet i haven't been eating healthier i haven't been doing more exercise I've been living the same exact life I was living a year ago till now, so I don't get it. I don't know what changed. Um, like I said, I weigh myself frequently, so I weighed myself, I don't know, probably just a couple weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, I weighed 145 pounds. Why do I look so much skinnier now? Why? I don't get it, it doesn't make sense. So like I said, I'm, I'm pretty worried at this point. Um, I start reading some more of my messages on Instagram, and let me just tell you, if y'all thought I was worried or I was scared based on what my brother said or based on, you know, what two supporters had told me, let's just say when I started going through my messages, that was probably the biggest mistake of my life. Well, no, I wouldn't call it a mistake. It could have actually saved my life. It just, it, it, it got me so much more worried, so much more scared. Let me read you guys what some of these messages said. I want to see your doctor, dude. It could be nothing, but I'd get it checked out. My doctor always tells me that if you lose weight unintentionally, something is wrong. Keep in mind, guys, I didn't go on a diet. I didn't start eating healthier. I didn't start exercising more. I didn't purposely lose weight. I didn't want to lose weight. It was unintentional. I didn't realize that I lost weight. So my doctor always tells me that if you lose weight unintentionally, something is wrong. So now I'm like, shit, now I'm a little worried. Go to the doctor and get checked, bro. Random weight loss can be something serious. Another one, please go to the doctor or something, bro. Next, go see a doctor, bro, just in case. Another one, I would go see a doctor and share your concern. Maybe they can do some blood work and see what's going on. Now this message also scared me a lot. Bro, go to the doctor because one of the admission questions we ask when we get a new patient at the hospital, so I'm guessing this person works as a nurse or she works at the hospital. Bro, go to the doctor because one of the admission questions we ask when we get a new patient at the hospital is have you recently lost weight without trying so it probably means something please go to the doctor bro when I saw all these messages of my supporters telling me to go to the doctor, telling me there's something wrong with me, telling me I need to go get checked, bro, I freaked out. I'm not gonna lie. Think about it from my perspective. Put yourself in my shoes. I randomly went for a run shirtless in the morning, recorded a little Instagram video, 
and posted it on social media. I did not think anything of it. There was not one thought in my mind like, oh my God, I lost so much weight. Oh, I look so skinny. Like I said, man, I wasn't on a diet. I wasn't doing anything extra. It was just my typical routine. I just run. I run every day, you know, uh, whatever. So when I'm seeing all these messages from my supporters that I need to go to the doctors and then I get texts from Brian saying, bro, go to the hospital. I start freaking out, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I started panicking. I'm like, bro, is there something wrong with me? Why is everyone making it such a big deal? Like everyone's going crazy, like whatever. I go straight to my scale. I grab the scale, right? I had my mom record a video because I was worried, bro. I was worried. Time to weigh myself. Hopped on the scale. Like I said, I weigh myself every couple weeks. For the last 10 years, I've been 145 pounds. Every time. Every time I go to the gym and I weigh myself, 145. Every time I go to the doctors for my yearly physical, 145. I'm always 145 pounds. So I tell my mom, like, yo, mom, I think something's wrong with me. I don't know. My supporters are freaking out. Where's the scale? I want to weigh myself. Grab the scale at my parents' house. Stepped on the scale. Weighed myself. Time to weigh myself. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Dude, 134, that's not normal. That's really light. I was never 134. 134 pounds. 134. I started freaking out, bro. I was like, holy sh I lost 11 pounds without even trying. I, I didn't go on a diet. I didn't um, purposely want to lose weight. I didn't start exercising more. I didn't do anything differently than the last 10 years to lose 11 pounds. That's a lot of weight, bro. And like I said, I weighed myself just two weeks ago and I weighed 145. How did I all of a sudden in two weeks lose 11 pounds without trying? I I, I don't, it that didn't make sense. It did not make sense. If I had lost like two, three, four pounds, I wouldn't care, it wouldn't be a big deal. But 11 pounds, bro, that's a lot of weight to drop that fast. In two weeks, some people go on a hardcore diet. They spend day and night, hours and hours and hours in the gym, working out, exercising, and they can't drop 11 pounds in two weeks. That's a lot of weight to drop randomly, bro. Especially when you consider that I lost that weight without trying, unintentionally, not going on a diet. And that's a lot of weight, bro, that's concerning. That's a lot of weight, it's, it's something to be worried about, bro. Like I said, if I'd only lost like two or three pounds, I wouldn't care, big deal, who cares? But 11 pounds? It's a lot of weight to lose in just two weeks. So that's a problem. So then I start really freaking out. So then I start going back to the video I posted on Instagram and I start watching it again. I'm like, holy shit, you can see my bones, bro. This isn't good. This ain't good, bro. This is this is not right. Then me being the idiot that I am, I keep going through more of my Instagram messages and, and I see messages like, bro, someone goes possibility of cancer, watch out. Boom, I read another message, signs of cancer. And I, I'm over there like, yo, cancer? Hold up, what is going on, bro? I just I just innocently went for a run this morning and now I'm over here thinking I have cancer like what and then one of my friends texts me and he's like hey bro go get your thyroid checked out you know there's something wrong with your thyroid I'm over there like holy shit, bro what's going on so obviously me I'm worried I'm worried bro because I'm thinking to myself like some people go on a strict diet like a like a hard-ass diet and they exercise they exercise like crazy they work out like crazy they're in the gym day and night and those people still can't lose 11 pounds in two weeks how did I do it what did I do I don't get it i didn't try to lose weight i wasn't on a diet so i'm worried at this point bro once i started reading the cancer messages bro i called my doctor i was like yo man um you know i don't know what's going on with me i just weighed myself i've lost a lot of weight i look really skinny i look really sick you could see my bones what's up like is this something to be concerned about and the first thing my doctor asked he goes brandon answer this question did you try to lose this weight were you on a diet um, did, have you been exercising more or did you lose this weight without trying without realizing it? And I was like, yeah, dog I didn't try to lose weight. I'm already skinny. I don't want to lose any more weight all this weight loss this, These 11 pounds that I lost I didn't try to lose it It just happened randomly and then he sounded concerned, you know He sounded worried and I was like damn and my doctor my physician was like you're dropping a lot of weight and you're not trying to drop weight, you know, that, that's not really a good sign. You should probably come in. Like, we, we need to get you checked out. We need to get your blood checked out. And I'm over there like, holy sh like, yo, do I really have like something wrong? Like, is something really wrong with me? Like, whatever. So I made an appointment. Um, the soonest they could see me is in a couple of days. So obviously I'll keep you guys updated on what they say, but I'm freaking out. I'm, I'm terrified, bro. I'm over here like, yo, I woke up, innocently went for my morning jog, just like every other day, decided to post a little clip on Instagram. And now here I am one hour later, I need to go see a doctor. Like how do things happen so fast in life, bro? You know, my doctor asked me, was there any sudden change in your life? Like did something happen? And obviously I told him like, yeah, I'm going through 
through a breakup. You know, I'm a little depressed. Well, <laughs> very depressed. Um, you know, obviously I'm depressed. I'm very stressed from having to end a relationship with a girl that I was so heavily in love with. You know, having to break up with the girl who I thought I was gonna marry one day. And you know, I, I thought this girl was the one. You know, I thought I was gonna spend the rest of my life with this girl and then, you know, things happen and the relationship comes to an end. So, you know, I tell my doctor like, yeah, I have been depressed and yes, I'm very stressed out. You know, I had to end things with the girl of my dreams. So could that have anything to do with it? And he did say, he's like, yeah, you know, being stressed, being depressed could play a part in losing a lot of weight that fast, but you should still come to the doctor. You should still get checked, get your blood checked and um, you know, we'll find out what's going on with you, but I'm scared right now bro like i don't know how i could lose that much weight that fast yeah i'm not gonna lie with the me going through this breakup i haven't been eating as much so maybe it could be that you guys know when you're stressed out you don't really have an appetite you guys know when you're going through it when you feel depressed you don't have an appetite the last thing on your mind is eating food like so yeah i guess you could say i haven't really been eating since the breakup shit the last time i was 134 pounds Man, I was a kid, bro. I was like 15 years old in high school. I'm 28 now, bro. It's been 10, 11, 12, 13 years where I've been 145 pounds. I genuinely can't remember the last time I was this skinny. I would have to say that it was when I was 15 years old in high school. That was the last time I was this skinny, bro. I'm gonna try to put a picture up on the screen from when I was in high school and, and that was the last time I was this skinny, bro. But that makes sense, man. I was a kid. I was 15 years old. Now I'm 28. I'm almost 30. It doesn't make sense for me to be this skinny it doesn't make sense for me to be five foot nine and only weigh 130 pounds at my age at this age i'm a grown man i'm an adult i shouldn't be this light i shouldn't be this skinny bro it doesn't make sense just to drop 11 pounds like that that fast bro so i don't know i am a little concerned like i said i'm gonna go to the doctors i'm gonna get my blood checked out i'll update you guys when i do that i'll post something about what the results are hopefully you know, I'm praying that everything is okay and that they don't find anything out of the ordinary at the doctors because I don't want that. I don't want to go through that. Um, like I said, I have been depressed. I have been stressed out over this breakup. You know, I know men usually are supposed to be macho men and they're not allowed to have feelings. And, you know, men are supposed to always be okay. Men are supposed to not feel sad. Men, men aren't allowed to have emotions. You're crazy. Come on, bro. A man being depressed, that's not allowed. Men aren't allowed to be depressed. Isn't that right? Unfortunately, we live in a a world where men are not allowed to be depressed you know men are just supposed to always be tough and no matter how much bad shit is going on in a man's life he's not allowed to be sad he's not allowed to have negative thoughts he's not allowed to be depressed stressed upset nah we live in a world where a man is just always supposed to just wake up and thug it out and just deal with all the bad that he's going through in his life isn't that the expectation for a man in this world that we live in men are always supposed to be strong they're not allowed to have feelings but nah man i'm talking to you guys like my family i love you guys you know so i'm being honest with you guys yes i am a man and it's hard for a man to admit on camera in front of the world that he feels depressed and he feels sad but sometimes you got to realize it's okay not to be okay and that's the stage i'm in right now you know going through a breakup i'm a little hurt i'm depressed i'm stressed out you know, I'm going through it, but I'm talking to you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm talking to all the guys out there watching this video, all the men. It's okay to be sad, man. It's okay to be depressed. Us as men, we go through shit too. Some bad shit happens to us in our life too. It's okay to feel down. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to be depressed. You know, as a man, sometimes we are vulnerable. It's okay to have feelings, bro. It's okay as a man sometimes to not be okay. I hate that we live in a world where men are just supposed to always be tough and put a mask on when they're feeling depressed and just act like everything is okay. I hate that we live in a world where if a man shows his emotions and if a man has feelings, then he's looked at differently. He's looked at a certain way from other people in this world just because he says he feels depressed. Well, men, all you men out there watching this video, I'm telling you guys, it's okay to have bad days. It's okay to have bad times. You're allowed to be stressed about it. You're allowed to feel upset sometimes. That's just life. As long as you're working to pick yourself back up and you're not going to be depressed or upset for the rest of your life, you know, as long as you're working towards finding happiness again, it's okay to go through a rough patch for a couple days. It's okay to be depressed for a couple days or a couple weeks. Us as men, we go through tough times too. If we're dealing with a breakup, if we just lost our job, you know, if something happens to a family member, we don't always got to put a mask on and act tough. It's okay to be depressed and upset sometimes. Just because we're men doesn't mean we don't have feelings, you know? And I feel like that's forgotten a lot in the world that we live in today. Um, Yeah, so I'd be lying if I told you I was completely fine after my breakup. I'd be lying if I told you I felt completely okay with having to end a relationship with the girl of my dreams. You know, I'd be lying to you guys if I told you I feel completely normal and completely happy that I had to end a relationship with a girl who I thought 
I was gonna marry one day and the girl that I thought was gonna raise my children, be the mother of my children. Yeah, it sucks. I'm sad, bro. I'm upset. I'm hurt. I'm depressed. I'm stressed out. Ever since my breakup, my anxiety, my anxiety has been through the roof. I haven't been happy. I haven't been smiling. I haven't been laughing. I haven't been my normal self. I, I haven't been the happy, laughing Brandon, aka Bawadis, ever since the breakup. So maybe that has something to do with physical change in your body. Maybe that has something to do with the weight loss. I don't know. I don't know. Can a breakup do that? Can ending a relationship have that physical effect on your body? I don't know. Can being depressed make you lose 11 pounds in two weeks? Has this happened to you? Have you guys felt like this? Have you guys been through this? So uh, my doctor did say that, that that could be a reason why I'm losing so much weight. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think the reason is that I've lost this much weight just in the last two weeks, bro? It's crazy. It doesn't make sense to me. Like I said, man, I am pretty worried because of what all the supporters were telling me, what my brother told me. And then when I hopped on the phone with the doctor and the first thing he said is him telling me that, you know, dropping that much weight that fast is probably a, a, you got to come into the office and come get your blood check. And then my supporters talking about cancer. Like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, <sighs> So, you know, I, I am worried, bro. I don't know what it is. So if you guys could just help me out and comment down below what you think this weight loss is happening from, because I'm gonna be reading all the comments on this video. I, I need to, I, I wanna be educated. I, I wanna know what you guys have to say. So please help me out in the comments down below. Let me know if this has happened to any of you guys. You know what, that would help. If this has happened to anybody else out there, please let me know. I genuinely want answers. You know, I wanna know if anybody out there has gone through something like this. Have you guys dropped weight hella randomly? You know, like, did you guys go to the doctors what did the doctors say maybe if you guys have been through a breakup did this happen to you after a breakup or if anybody watching this video if you guys have gone through a depression phase or a phase where you're very very stressed out and you have some bad anxiety is this what happens like i want some answers from you guys bro like please if you guys could help me out if this has happened to any of you what was the reason that it happened you know what was the what was the cure what did you have to do to gain all that weight back bro like just please just comment down below and like i said guys i never planned on making a video like this bro, i don't view you guys as just fans i don't view you guys as random people that watch my videos nah you guys are my supporters you guys are like my second family i love you guys you guys mean a lot to me so if there's something serious going on in my life and there's something serious going on with my health i owe it to you guys to tell you guys you know the least i could do is let you guys in on what's happening and and make a little youtube video to explain to you guys the situation um and once i go to the doctor it's on what am i going it's in a couple of days so once i go i'll definitely keep you guys updated with the results and uh yeah man just comment down below what you think and i'll be reading all the comments i just want answers bro i want answers i want you guys to help me out and and i'm kind of leaning to you guys for some comfort in a tough time like this i'm scared i'm worried i'm nervous i'm anxious about going to the doctors and getting these results so i'm kind of kind of relying on you guys for some comfort. I feel like if I read you guys' comments and you guys have been through this before, then I'll feel a little bit more comfortable about it. Kind of coming to you guys to make me feel better. As crazy as that sounds, that's how much I love you guys and that's how much you guys mean to me. And also, man, if you believe in prayer, if you believe in a God out there, just please pray for me because I'm really scared. Like cancer um, or, or any other like medical condition, I don't want to... I'm scared of that, bro. I, I don't want to go through that, you know? So please, if you guys believe in a God out there, just please a, a prayer for me before my doctor's appointment. It would mean a lot to me. It would go a long way just to know that I'm being prayed for before I go see a doctor. Other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, it has been your boy, Brandon, aka Bawadis. I love you guys all, and I'm out. Peace.